Uh, that's fine. Uh, hey, uh, I'm Chris Down, um, and I work at GitHub, but uh, this talk isn't like about me as an engineer at GitHub. Uh, it's more of a user. Um, I have a clicker. Um, so before I started working on GitHub, I would have all these kind of like ideas about like, I wish GitHub could do this one thing. Uh, and I would write these Chrome extensions to uh, kind of help my workflow to do these things. Um, there, but there's like some things that, uh, oh, there they are. But there's some stuff that uh, I couldn't do as Chrome extensions. Um, and so uh, for those things, I, I've recently discovered uh, this library uh, that, is this not the right clicker? It's this clicker. There you go. Uh, it's called Probot, um, and it's uh, a library for GitHub to, to write uh, these GitHub applications. Um, and Probot does this uh, by leveraging uh, webhooks and the GitHub API to give you kind of uh, the power to extend GitHub in a, in a pretty simple way. And uh, most instances of Probot are responding to events. So something happens on GitHub, Probot gets a ping through a webhook, and uh, it might it'll, like analyze, like what should I do in this situation, and it will maybe fire off some events of its own. And we can actually take, I have a little trivial example, and um, let's say if we want to respond to every issue that's opened in a repository, and like let's just like say hello, just give them a little welcoming message. Um, all right, we're gonna build it right now. So we have this module, uh, and it just takes in robot as uh, argument or a par parameter, and so we can attach uh, event listeners on the robot. And there's a list on the GitHub uh, documentation page for the events you can listen for. And here we're just like listening for if there's any issue that's opened. We get this context uh, with it. And so with this context, we can uh, create a comment. This is kind of confusing. I didn't really understand this at first, but this essentially just gives you like an object back that uh, operates in the context of this issue. And we just give it uh, the body, thanks for the issue. And then, uh, just using GitHub, GitHub API, if you ever used it, it's pretty, it's fairly simple. We just say, uh, create this comment. And that's it. Uh, it's pretty easy, like, we can run this, and every time somebody opens up an issue on a repository where this probot is, ins ins is installed, uh, it will respond, Thanks for the issue. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool when I saw it first because uh, you can do these crazy things. Uh, there's a bunch of probots out there. You might have seen them if you go into these popular uh, GitHub repositories. Uh, sometimes they'll like close down the issues when nobody has commented on it for uh, some days. And I have a problem that I really wanted to solve uh, with Probot. And it is related to ESLint. Uh, I don't know if everybody here uses ESLint, but I almost always use it in my projects. And um, I have it running, so like it will run in a build, and if if someone broke an ESLint rule, it will give you like a red status on the pull request. Uh, there's just one problem with this. Uh, people can just like disable the rules right there in the code. Uh, and so this is a project that I have where somebody just disabled all the rules and just did whatever they wanted. Um, which is fine, like I understand that sometimes people just like need to get stuff done, and so they, like, they're like, I don't know how to do this, I just, I know how to use uh, jQuery show, I don't know how to like show and hide things. So I'm like empathetic to it, but I, I maybe would want it to like uh, focus that you shouldn't do this, or like ping me and tell, and I can explain them how they can do it uh, correctly. So like, this previous one, it just goes through, like, everything's green, people are like, great, merge their pull request. Um, I, like I said, I would like for these to be flagged. So um, I wrote this probot that uh, I gave it a little logo. It's just the ESN logo with the eyes emoji. And so it just watches pull requests, and when a pull request com comes in, it checks the diff, and if somebody added a ESLint disable, it will just comment right on there. Just please, please don't. Um, there's a really great thing you can, uh, if you install probots into your repositories, you can give them uh, configs. So my probot, you can change this message, and like if you wanna, uh, if you wanna give them like a little image, 
Uh, you can do that. You can like at the team that should review this, be like at the JS team to be like, uh, you can, you know, you don't have to use jQuery show, you can do this thing. Um, and yeah, if they're like le legitimate ESLint disables. Um, this talk went by really fast. Uh, you can find Probot on GitHub, probot.github.io, and uh, my Probot is on my GitHub, which is up there. Uh, thank you. <laughs>